Hi, this is Chris from SRock. This time I was going to talk about the SOTA 3 IC on board or with um, Peace Express card type. Because right now on the retail market, you can find that some manufacturers like Gigabyte, they have um, P55 motherboard with SOTA 3 IC on board. And um, if you look, look on the SRock P55 Deluxe, uh, we have a SOTA 3 card with a SOTA 3 IC on the Peace Express card. So this time we're going to talk about the difference between between these two types. All right. First, we are going to we we're going to see the Gigabyte mainboard. You can find that the SATA 3 IC is under the uh, heatsink. Okay. Um, so from their design, the SATA 3 devices can only connect to this mainboard. And now let's check out the SRAC SATA 3 car with uh, SRAC P55 Deluxe. All right. On this mainboard. You can connect the SOLAR 3 card like this on SRAP P55 Deluxe, and then you can connect the SOLAR 3 devices here. There are two internal SOLAR 3 ports. You can connect here, and then you can use the SOLAR 3 devices hard drive on this mainboard. But if you want to upgrade your mainboard in the future, all right, this one is more flexible because you can still use this card for your future mainboards. Just unplug it and then install it in your future board. That would be more flexible. And also, SROC SAL3 car also provides was only one. The ESAL3 connectors can let you connect external SAL3 devices. This is also cool. All right, besides the um, flexibility and the ESAL3 port, let's also check out the Pizza Express bandwidth later. All right, now we have set up two systems. Uh, the first one is with um, SROC P55 Deluxe with SROC SATA 3 card and the other system is Gigabyte P55A UD5 system and as you can see now we have connected uh, Seagate SATA 3 hard drive to the Gigabyte system and let's check out the GPU Z alright now you can see that the device manager shows the Marvel SATA 3 controller and According to GPU-Z, you can find that uh oh the PCI Express bandwidth for the VGA card is only PCIe 2.0 by 8, not the typical by 16. Alright, let's check out the SROC P55 Deluxe with uh, SATA 3 card. In Device Manager, you can also find the Marvel SATA 6G controller. and. In GPU-Z information, it shows that the PCI Express slot for the VGA card is still running at PCIe 2.0 by 16. According to the GPU-Z result, if you connect a SATA 3 device on Gigabyte mainboard, the PCIe length of VGA card is reduced to PCIe 2.0 by 8 instead of by 16. When connecting the same SATA 3 device on Ezra SATA 3 PCIe card, the PCIe LAN of VJ car is still running at the PCIe 2.0 by 16. So from today's test result, we can really find that the SROC SATA 3 car really provides a lot of advantages compared to the SATA 3 onboard IC. That is, first one is the flexibility. You can still use the SATA 3 car for your future mainboard. The ESA 3 port provides the connectivity for the external SAR3 devices. And the most important of all is, with the SROC SAR3 car, you can still enjoy your VGA car with Pizza Express 2.0 by 16. However, if you use the SAR3 onboard IC, your VGA car will only running at Pizza 2.0 by 8. That is cool, right? And to be a clever customer, I guess, right now, you already have the answer in your mind. Which one is your best choice? This is Chris from SROC YouTube channel. And stay tuned for this, we'll bring you more and more hot stuffs. Stay tuned.